Lucy Fink, and this week is five days of random acts of kindness. Hey guys, welcome back to Try Living with Lucy. If you're new to our YouTube channel, click on the little subscribe box right here. Some quick real talk. I learned that 80% of the people that watch these videos are not yet subscribed. Don't you wanna be part of the squad? It's very easy, if you already have a Gmail account, you already have a YouTube account too. And subscribing is so easy. Just put your mouse right here where my finger is, and now follow my finger, and tap gently in the corner. Yes! All right, first and foremost, you'll probably notice I'm not in my bedroom. Mm-mm. My apartment building is currently undergoing construction and I went to make this webcam this morning and there were construction workers hanging from ropes outside my window. So I decided to move this webcam to Refinery29. I'm in our studio right now and I'm just gonna do it from here. On to the video. Most of my five day challenges wind up being focused on me. For example, how does five days without coffee make me feel? How do I feel after five days of facing my fears? And even though I know that many of you guys wind up applying my lesson to your lives, I decided that this week's episode was gonna be about pulling me out of my little bubble and taking me away from the me and I, and instead focusing on others. My goal this week is to do a series of small things for others, expecting absolutely nothing in return. So when planning for this episode, I wanted to make sure that each of my five days was focused on not only spreading kindness in a different way, but also to a different part of the world. On Monday, I started locally by asking myself, who's one person in my life that I see every single day? And what is one tiny thing that I can do for them to make their day just a little bit better? And this question led me straight to Tony. Good morning, Lobby. Tony speaking. Tony works in the lobby of Refinery29's office building, and he is the world's best building facilitator. He knows everybody's name, and no matter what day of the week it is, what the weather looks like outside, or what is going on in the world, he will greet you with a smile. How was your weekend? Very nice, yours? Great. Kind of quick, but uh, we make the best Isn't of it, it, right? Isn't it always like that? Yeah. You know what I meant to ask you? Yeah. Do you know everybody's name in the whole building? Uh, I would say like 99%. I'm not gonna say 100%. Uh, I'm good with names. What's up, Fred? Morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Good, and you? See, you know everyone. Yeah, that's Shahan, the painter. When I'm running out to get lunch and Tony has to stay stationed at his position in the lobby, how easy is it for me to just grab him lunch? Thankfully, from chatting with Tony in the past, I was already well acquainted with his favorite type of food. So when I was out on my lunch break, I went to his favorite spot and I got him a Greek salad, a drink, and a little surprise oh, wow. for dessert. And, and, I hope you like it. Baklava. I love it. <laughs> this is my treat for later. I could see how grateful he was just from the smile he gave me. And it made me realize that this tiny action of mine, something that honestly did not take that much time out of my day, was able to make someone else's day so much brighter. On Monday, my random act of kindness involved spending a little bit of money on someone else to make their life easier. And that's a very simple thing that you can do for someone in a number of ways. But something that's important to keep in mind is that not everyone has the means of spreading kindness by purchasing things. And that's totally okay because most acts of kindness don't require you to spend a single cent. When you think about doing random acts of kindness, I bet your head naturally gravitates towards doing kind things for other people, right? But don't forget that you can also do kind things for your planet and for the creatures that live on it. Tuesday was fully focused on doing a random act of kindness for the world and the environment. I woke up bright and early, I rode the subway down to Coney Island, and I spent a few hours picking up trash on the boardwalk and the beach. I put on a pair of those disposable gloves and I brought one of those garbage grabbers, and I just started collecting garbage that I found on the ground. A Refinery29 article that I found cites that 80% of marine pollution comes from land-based activities, and plastic trash often finds its way back into the ocean. This is not only damaging for the environment, but it's also incredibly harmful for animals that either wind up eating this trash or worse, getting tangled up in plastic debris and dying because of it. Hostess. <sighs> One great way to help out this situation and to do a little act of kindness every day is switch out all plastic straws and instead either use paper straws, reusable straws, or just no straws at all. You can also go entirely zero waste like I did in a previous five day challenge. But if you don't wanna do that, then picking up garbage whenever you see it is a great way to help too. Bottle caps, cups, cans, plastic wrappers, straws. I even found a sock and some boxers, which I set aside separately for clothing recycling. It's actually somebody's bathing suit. <laughs> 
Somebody is skinny dipping right now and I just stole their shoes. This was one of the most fulfilling mornings that I've had in a while. Basically, my cameraman, Andrew, and I got to go to one of the coolest areas of the city, spend a little bit of time hanging out on the beach and doing something good for our planet and for the animals. And then when we were done working, we got to ride on the Coney Island Cyclone. This day was so great that I'm challenging you guys to do this exact same thing. Pick any weekend morning, get together with some friends, go to a local beach or a park and pick up trash together and then just spend the rest of the day hanging out and relaxing. I think that one of the nicest things a person can do is bring a smile to a stranger's face. I'm so grateful to have this job because it connects me to all of you out there. People from all over the world that I talk to pretty much every single day online. But I've noticed recently that sometimes talking to people online and connecting via the internet can feel a little bit superficial and not really all that special. So on Wednesday, I asked myself, how can I thank some of my fans, these people from all over the world that watch all of my videos and leave me nice comments on Instagram all the time, how can I thank them in a way that's a little bit more personal than just sending them a DM on Instagram or writing them an email? So I made a post on my Instagram asking my followers that wanted to receive a personalized postcard from me to send me a private message with their addresses. And I received addresses from over over 1,500 people from every corner of this planet. I went out and I got tons of New York City themed postcards and I just started writing. I truly, truly, truly wanted to send a postcard to everybody, but that just wasn't feasible. I had to narrow it down a little bit, so I went through and I selected people that lived in very diverse areas of the world. I have a list here of some of the places where these postcards went, and I'm just gonna read you a few. Australia, Slovakia, Germany, Barcelona, Peru, Paris, Rome, India, Hong Brazil, Kong, Brazil, New Zealand, Israel, Egypt, Egypt, Dublin, Denmark, Indonesia, Zimbabwe, Vienna, and so much more. Hi Lucy, thank you so much for the postcard and the stickers. I'm so happy, so, so happy right now. Thank you so much, Lucy, you're the best. Many of these people have been supporting me on my career journey for over three years, so sending them a postcard is the least I can do. Thursday was all about doing something sweet for my work community. I've been working at Refinery29 for almost three years now, and it really is amazing how your coworkers start to feel like family here. Depending on what type of job you have and what kind of office environment you work in, you could potentially be spending more time at work than you are at home. So having colleagues around you that respect one another and that feel like friends is truly invaluable. At R29, we're on a mission to help women around the world feel, see, and claim their power. And working daily towards such a powerful goal really does bring us together. As a token of my gratitude and just to tell my coworkers how much I love them, I decided to bring them a little sweet treat on Thursday. I first considered just buying pizza and setting it out for everyone, but then I asked myself what's one step of kindness above buying something? And of course the answer is making something. I went to Dough, my favorite donut shop in New York City, and I went behind the scenes to their open kitchen to make some fresh donuts for my team. I went through the entire donut making process First, flattening the dough, which by the way, is made with a secret formula that they did not share with me. Next, hand cutting the donuts into circles and punching out the donut holes. And then after a two-step proofing process, frying the donuts gently to perfection, hand dipping them into various flavors, and adding toppings. As I was in there, I realized, wow, I'm here shooting an episode of Try Living with Lucy, but this is so meant to be a Lucy for Hire as a donut maker. So comment below if you wanna see that Lucy for Hire episode. I made 18 giant donuts and I mean giant, like the size of my face. I brought them back to Refinery29 and I sent out a mass email to the video department. Seeing everyone flood over for an afternoon snack with giant smiles on their face was exactly what I was hoping to see. Hibiscus, blood orange, lemon pie. And speaking of community, especially when it comes to food, there are so many ways that you can help out people who are actually in need of food. For this entire week, I've been taking leftovers and extra food to go every single time I eat out, and I've been giving it to the homeless and to hungry people on the streets and in the subways. And I actually didn't film any of these moments because I really didn't want to exploit the homeless people by putting them in this video, but it's the action that counts. So when it comes to doing random acts of kindness, it's not about sharing that you're doing it with others, it's just about doing it. According to an R29 article, being nice actually comes along with some health benefits. You'll feel happier, your heart will be healthier, you might even be less stressed in your daily life. For my final day of this challenge, I asked myself, what's one part of the world that needs the most kindness right now? And the answer was simple. You're looking at it, the internet. <laughs>
I love the internet and particularly YouTube for so many reasons. It's honestly how I built my career and how I've been able to connect with so many people from around the globe. But the internet can also be filled with a lot of darkness. When many people go to post online, they feel very empowered because they're hidden behind a computer screen. So they're not afraid to write nasty or negative things that they most likely wouldn't say to a person's face. I truly think that everyone that's building a YouTube audience should be applauded for being unafraid to put themselves out there because it's really not an easy thing to do. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been to this channel before, my name is Julia. I found some up and coming YouTubers actually by looking through the Refinery29 comments section. I love creating videos. I watched some of the videos that they've worked so hard on and Friday's random act of kindness was all about sprinkling a little bit of love on some of these channels. <laughs> There's so much power in positivity and sometimes just receiving one positive comment can push someone who was about to stop to keep moving and to keep creating. So now I encourage all of you to try five days of random acts of kindness. Write them down in your bullet journal, write them on an Instagram post and tag me in it, or just do it and don't write it anywhere and don't tell anyone. There are millions of ways that you can try this challenge for yourself and spread some kindness even without spending any money. Everything from giving out a compliment to babysitting for a friend for free to leaving encouraging notes in random places on public transportation. When it comes to random acts of kindness, there is no right and wrong and there is certainly no act that's too small. Comment below to let me know what you want to see me try next time and we'll see you then. Bye! Hey YouTube, thanks for watching 5 days of random acts of kindness. Click here for another video on our channel, right here to subscribe to Refinery29, and here for my personal channel. See ya!